Uh, let's continue. Oh, all the... So I can't do either of those again, so let's just fucking chat and shit. I love it. It's just like, yep, yeah, it's just closed. <laughs> One day. Stop. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'll show the fucking books. Let me read to the kiddly winks. Oh. Fucking eyes itching again. Stop. Stop. No, there isn't anything better you could be doing with your time, you silly ho. Um. So, I'm trying to think what else I could talk about. I mean, I have stuff to talk about. I could talk about my my course I did. Um, my makeup course I did. Because, I don't know, I think some people might be like, you did a makeup course, but you play games. Like, I used to get that a lot, because I used to work game. And pe the amount of guys that would be like, they look at me. His, I, I used to, well, I used to do good makeup before I did my course, but now I think I do a lot better makeup. Um, and they would just look at me like, do you play games? And I'm like, yeah. And then the, and they were like, I don't believe that. You don't look like someone who would play games. And I'm like, I play games. I fucking grew up on Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. God damn. Um, and SSX. SSX is one of my all-time favourite games. Old SSX, not the new one. The new one was absolute crap. I mean, when I play games, I play games to... Or when I play SSX, I play it to snowboard, not to fly over fucking mountains. Like, that annoyed the shit at me. I couldn't get past the fucking game because I couldn't fly over a goddamn gap. I hated it. I think they put it in to make it more exciting, but... You know, everybody who bought it because they played the older games, I think, may have just been like, the fuck is this shit? Seriously. No, I'm just, I'm just not even gonna bother <laughs> trying to do that job. Um, but you know, I used to get a, a lot of game where people wouldn't believe that I play games because I could do makeup, and I guess they may have thought that I was pretty, but I, I don't know. Wow, she did shit this week. One more day. Oh my god. So I'm just gonna read some books. Um, so, <laughs> when dealing with plants, remember that the fresh, the flesh naturally absorbs and retains moisture. A high tolerance for additional water is indicated, along with the re with a resistance to flames. Both may be may require a long application before damage is done. And her little comment, this is either about fighting monsters or about gardening, I can't tell which. Or maybe gardening is about fighting monsters. Okay, so I'm going to go read another book. So, yeah. And this is a history book, so I, I literally cannot be bothered with these ones if they're not, like... If they're not worth my time reading, like, if they don't help me in some way, then I don't really bother to to read them. <laughs> Says that, and you open your open! Um, but, yeah, people wouldn't believe I would play games because of how I looked, which is really bad because, I mean, I may wear um, a lot of makeup and have, you know, my my hair is naturally straight, and it's uh, it's dyed blonde because I think that that suits me like so much more than having brunette hair. Like, oh my god! <laughs> and I bet nobody would believe me that my my favorite type of music is heavy metal. He's like, I like it, but you know, people assume things which I wouldn't. I mean, my favorite color is pink, so I I think I'm just kind of all over the place. I mean, I like pink, black, and red. Those are my favorite colors of a million which is between red and pink. I think it's a really, really nice colour. And, um... Yeah. It was ridiculous, the amount of people who were like, yeah, you don't know anything about games. Like, I literally had someone on the phone 
who was like, can I, oh shit, he's just putting the fucking money up again, isn't he? Um, ah, no, read some books. Um, was it, this is useful, it's talking about crafting magical items, I can learn from this. The traditional property of, of gems determine what items they are suited for. A red ruby added to a gold ring will enhance the user's control of fire, whereas a blue sapphire added to a silver ring will aid with water. Rubies also signify f strength and passion and can be added I don't know, because it like stops there and you don't get the rest of it. Like even if I press continue I don't get to see the rest. So it's kind of like giving you a hint, but not a good one. Um, just let me read all the books. And then this, I don't know what the fuck this is, like I don't even know, like I tried like taking like the first sentence and like put it into Google Translate and Google Translate was like, the fuck is this? So if anyone can actually read this then Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> but I think it is just gibberish they've just put in the game. Um, oh there we go, now I can do it, now I can do it, now I can do it. And this is going to be shit. So. <laughs> I mean, I just need to do this. Not so much to earn money, but to get this certain event. I need it, need it. Um, what was I talking about? I mean, I know we're talking about game. And game... Oh my god. So many people have said to me, Oh my god, you work at game, that's such a cool job. And I'm like, no, it's really... It's honestly really not. Like, I... It was great when I started out. But then they got taken over and the company just, oh my god, like, it was so, I don't even know how to describe it, it was shit. It was so shit. Hang on. Is my age stuck at 19? Oh no, I was 18. <laughs> Never mind. I had a blonde moment. But it's okay. Whatever. Um... No, yeah. Is this philosophy or religion? It does sin. Okay, yeah, this is about um, uh, having sin. So, even though she says, if, is this philosophy or religion, it actually counts to, um, it counts to your, to knowing what to do with sin and stuff and killing beasts beasties in the dungeon. So, it is a sin to kill any thinking being, even one that intends you harm. If violence cannot be avoided, the sin will be forgiven if you do penitence, or penance, whatever, for your act. The undead and other such magical manifestations are not capable of thought, therefore it is not a sin to dispel. So you have to kind of, like, um, think about, you know, if it's a zombie, if it's like a wizard or something, then you won't get sin for killing it. But if it's a wild dog or if it's a spider, you'll get sin for killing it. Depending on what you kill gives you certain amount of sin. Where did my sin go? I didn't do anything that wasn't sinful. I don't know, maybe it just goes down over time, I don't remember. Um, be careful, I'll run you ragged. Well, um, but yeah, seriously game. Not the worst job I've had. The worst job I've ever had was CEX. Don't ever work at CEX. It's shit. Um, but it, it wasn't fantastic. I mean, before the company got changed over, I mean, I know they lost money and they went into um, administration, but it was still better. Like, it was it was better working for them before they went into administration. I think every everyone that I worked with agreed with that. But they got a lot more fucking tougher on the the staff, and I know a lot of people that left because of it. Like they would set unreal targets. Um, like I'm trying to think of one. Oh yeah, consoles. So game does this thing called game care, which basically, if something happens to your console, like you spill water on it or you drop it and you break it in some accidental way they'll cover it for you for a cost like a one-off payment so um, we had to sell that and we had to sell I think the worst it was which was like 
one game care every two two hundred and fifty pounds, which this especially applied to um, the newer consoles. Like if you think about it, in pounds, a PS4 is um, three hundred and forty nine pounds. So if you were to sell one of them, um, you would need to get two game care, like literally grab a game care out of the fucking air and, you know, use it. Um, send to the clocking closet again. <laughs> um, see if my cooking got any better. Oh, plain sugar cookies. It didn't win anything. Well, who gives a shit? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you'd, you'd literally have to grab somebody and be like, I know you don't have a console, but do you want some game care? Like, I nobody ever did that, but that's what it was like. Like, you, you had to do that. It was, it was, it was awful. <clears throat> Would you stop it? You didn't make any money because you're an idiot. Um... Whatever, I'm just gonna read the books. Yay, I've learned a new magical charm. The hybrid rune of Scream represents a convergence of three primary magical forces emotion, negative energy, and transmitted, uh, transmitted vibration. The vibrational aspect will allow the charm to target the undead who otherwise who would otherwise be highly resistant to the other. Yeah. So Charm scream. So I can chuck this all on the dark emotion and earth. Problem is with the scream because it's got dark. Uh, it will not affect a lot of magical beings. Like it might even um, give them more power, which is a pain in the ass. Like don't get me wrong, it's it's really, 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 really a pain in the ass. Um, so let me just read all the books. Is yeah, brewing potions, blah blah blah. There we go. There's nothing else to read, so oh. no, there's not something better you can do with your time. You need to find the old lady and talk to her. Oh my fucking god. Her taming is so shit. Come on, I just want to get on with it. Stupid bitch. <sighs> and I hate this because you can't get taming up any other way. Like, apart from doing children. Doing children? That, I'm, I'm so sorry. That was not what I meant. So let's tend to the animals. Because that's another way of taming. Like, it's, it's mainly taming, but your charm will go down, which is sucks but yeah these are the really 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 annoying ones but Taemin's going up so who gives a shit <laughs> oh excuse me <clears throat> excuse me is anyone here hello can I help you you must be new here please take care of my horse right away sir I wonder who that was I know who that was. Yes, I do. So I'm just gonna ask for another fucking job because I just need taming. Just get out there. Um, we're back onto the subject. I have such bad uh, ADD. <laughs> like I don't have it, but I fucking feel like I do half the time. Um, so. Can I, can I do better at my job, please? Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah, the example I gave of... What? Oh. <laughs> the text from my brother. Um, oh, thank god she's here. 
Oh, I knew it, darling. It's so clever with the little ones. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Let me just pick up my grandchildren and I'll be on my way. I like cross between two different fucking accents then, but whatever. Um, but that's just an example of one of the more extreme ones, like digital, like you know, PSN cards or Xbox memberships, etc., etc. We had to do like one in a hundred, which was not hard because people tend to buy two at a time or something. And um, like if somebody wanted. 2,500 Microsoft points. I not. I know that's not how they go now, but they would get like 2,100 and 400, which would be too digital. So you would already be ahead in that, and that was always the easiest one. But I mean, when they brought out more shit to sell, like they brought out this care, which was quite, which was popular, and I think it was it was a good thing, but they brought that out and then it gave us another target we had to hit and it was it was such a pain in the ass. I think the after one of my favorite times after the company got taken over was when somebody tried to uh tried to sell us a stolen phone. <laughs> that was that was one of the best times ever. It was so embarrassing for him and so hilarious for us. So, what game does, if you bring in a stolen phone, which, yes, phone, I've already fucking seen it, now go away. Um, if somebody tries to trade in a stolen phone, uh, game actually checks to see if it's, if it's been registered as stolen. Uh, which is better than CEX does, because they don't check at all, which is one of the reasons why I left. Um... And um, yeah, so they will check. And what this dude does, did, because of where I live, the closest um, police station is like half an hour away when traffic is good. Like, fucking, it was, it was awful because they were so far away. So these guys had to wait like 45 minutes for the police to arrive to try to arrest them. And I had this one stupid colleague who knew the guys and they were like why is this lady not coming back to me and he knew the guys and he had the fucking audacity to tell them he's like joking around with them and everything he's like yeah Chris came out to tell you sorry but the phone's stolen so we can't take it nah nah I'm just joking and I'm like don't fucking do that you twat they're obviously gonna like it now and they did so oh Hello again, dear. Could you help me find a seat? I'm afraid my eyes aren't what they once were. You know, I used to be a nursemaid to the royal family. Such lovely children. I know some wonderful stories about the prince as a little boy. Perhaps I'll tell you sometime. And now she's sick again. Um. Oh, yeah, the HP goes down when you're at the fucking doctor's as well. Um. Awesome. Goodbye. <laughs> Leave. So that's one f good thing they did. But the guys, the guys legged it. But I think the police actually got them in the end, which was good. Uh, but when I was working at CEX and we had someone trade in a stolen phone, um, like they just looked like a regular couple, quite smart, and um, <coughs> celebrate. And it was it was fine. I mean, nothing really seemed to be up with them until somebody who I knew, or I, I kind of know them. They're like an acquaintance. They work at um, my subway that I go to quite a lot because I love subway. <coughs> um, yeah. So they stole his phone, and he came in and looked to the phones and recognised his phone in there and literally 
Mm, he was like, excuse me, can I have a look at that phone? And he had a look at it and he's like, looked at all of all around it, see like if there were any dents where you might drop it and everything. And he was like, yeah, that's my phone, it was stolen from me. And my manager was like, oh really? Because I can't do anything for you. And I'm like, bro, you didn't fucking check, it's your fault. Like... I, I don't I don't get how they can do that like it's so it's so wrong not to check before you take it in because it, it's so simple all we did was um, I think either there was a program that we installed or it was a website we went to to check if the phone was stolen and it was it was it was so simple and it's like why the fuck don't you do that it would save you a lot of time and effort and I mean I know that it's more effort because then you have to file a police report or get interviewed or whatever but fucking you know it, it's worth it in the end because then you don't have to deal with it so this guy had to get the police involved and um oh there we go hello again dear now where was i oh yes the royal children prince keelan was a darling little boy not much trouble loved animals especially his dog he'd had since he was a puppy Praise little Alexandra. Now she was a troublemaker, always climbing trees, tearing up her dresses. Little Alex would even refuse to eat her suppers and then try to sneak out at night to rub the pantry because it was more fun that way. And then she ran away. And they fired me for losing her. Poor child. I wonder what became of her. I know what happened to her. Ah.